eating healthy doesn't taste good, I just proved you totally wrong. Hey everyone, okay, so today I'm gonna be doing my nutrition sort of video, like what I eat and stuff like that. Um, and I'm gonna talk about the nutrition and um, exercise plan that I follow called Tone It Up. I love Tone It Up. Um, I just wanna like get that out there um, at the starting gate. <laughs> the reason that I eat healthy is because I love my body and I love it enough to take care of take care of it and provide the nutrients that my body needs to live and have energy throughout the day. So I just want to get that out there that I am not doing this because I feel that I need to lose weight. I'm eating like this because I want to be healthy. Your diet isn't just, you know, like I'm on a diet. If you're eating a hundred calorie pack of Oreos or if you're eating a hundred calories and it's like, you know, a you know, a few pieces of fruit or something, there is a complete difference, okay? So calories here are really not the issue. Calories are not really an issue if you're eating good, raw, healthy food. Not doing this, like, you know, because society is putting all this pressure on me. Who cares what society thinks? This has just totally changed my way of thinking. Uh, they give you so many incredible recipes. I never thought that I would eat tofu, and I love tofu now. I will tell you, their protein pancakes are the best thing in the entire world. I could live off of them. Like, I am obsessed with Tone It Up protein pancakes. They actually have a recipe on their website. I'm linking everything Tone It Up in the description box if you want to check them out. But seriously, guys, oh my gosh. I love protein pancakes. If you have questions about Tone It Up, you can ask me in the comments below and I will answer you, or I will try to answer you at least. Um, but basically, it's a big, huge cookbook, and in the very beginning, it tells you everything that you need to know about what you need to put in your body, when you need to put it into your body. Um, they give you meals that you can eat at certain times of the day so that your body can metabolize your food faster. Um, honestly, I love Tone It Up. Definitely check out Tone It Up if you're really looking into nutrition and just being healthier. So now I'm going to show you guys like the processed foods that I eat. My protein powder that I use, Tone It Up Perfect Fit Protein, which is like the vanilla kind, but they don't have a chocolate one, so I use the Arbonne one, and this is the Arbonne Essentials Chocolate Protein Shake Mix. This is their dietary supplement. And I love this. It's pea protein and rice protein, which is a it's a, it's better for you than like whey is. This has flaxseed in it and co just natural cocoa powder. Um, anyways, you can you can check this out if you really really are super interested in this. But this has 20 grams of vegan protein. This is so good. It's like my afternoon pick me up shake. I love to blend this. If you want me to do a little recipe about this, um, my protein shake that I drink almost every single day, I will do that on my vlog channel. If you actually want to purchase this, I think I'm going to be opening up um, an Arbonne website where you can have access to those products. Not that I'm like trying to sell them to you, but people ask me, they're like, where can I get this? And I honestly just can't give you an answer because I don't know where you can find Arbonne products other than if you know somebody that sells them. Let me know. I don't want you to feel like I'm coming on here like being some infomercial like, look at this product. Okay, now buy it from me. So just let me know. Um, but this is my natural sweetener. Moving on now to this. This is stevia. This is the uh, in the raw kind, and I love stevia. It's I I don't even have I don't even use sugar anymore for anything. This is a complete sugar replacement. It's completely natural. It's the best sweetener that you could possibly use. Splenda and um, sweet and low. All of those sweeteners. They are not healthy for you, even though they're like low calorie or the no calorie and you know no grams of sugar you would be better off eating the sugar than you would be eating those artificial sweeteners because they're so packed full of chemicals that your body doesn't even know what to do with them and then I'm not a real cereal person but if I do really really want some cereal um, I like the Kashi Goline and the top got cut off of this. It has 13 grams of protein and 10 grams of fiber, which is totally going to keep you full. I actually like to put this on top of Greek yogurt, which I left in the fridge because I didn't want the Greek yogurt to go bad during this video, but I love Greek yogurt. I eat that all the time. 
And then as far as like little bars that I really like to eat, these are the gluten-free Lara bars. Um, this is from Costco and you can buy them at like Trader Joe's and stuff, but they have blueberry muffin, cashew cookie, and peanut butter cookie, and those are actually my three favorite ones. But my all-time favorite one is the coconut one, which I've only found at one health food store before. It's so good, but I'm obsessed with anything coconut, so that's probably why. Okay, and then another thing that I'm obsessed with is this thing called PB2, and it's basically, um, it's 85% less fat and calories than traditional peanut butter. And I know that I said calories weren't an issue, and they really aren't if you're eating really healthy, but... I do have a peanut butter obsession, and I can go crazy when it comes to eating peanut butter. Too much of anything isn't good for you. So, this is PB2. It's powdered peanut butter. It's completely gone because I love it so much. And you add water to it, and it's only 45 calories. Most traditional peanut butters are anywhere from like 150 to 250 calories. I guarantee that you eat more than the serving size at one sitting. Um, so you're probably eating probably, I would say, three to 500 calories of just pure peanut butter, which is crazy. And this is just so delicious. It tastes exactly like peanut butter. And they have a chocolate flavor, which is my favorite, which is actually right here. And so, yeah, this is PB2, and this is the chocolate kind, so I really love this. I actually put this on my protein pancakes in the morning, and it's honestly the most delicious thing in the entire world. People who say that eating healthy doesn't taste good, I just proved you totally wrong. I really like to drink tea. This is the Synergy Strawberry Serenity Kombucha, and kombucha is really good at regulating your pH levels, which I talked about in my skincare video. It's important to keep your pH levels in check, um, just especially for your skin, because that is really something that's super important if you want to have clear skin, and kombucha can actually help your skin, so I really love that. I love grapefruit. It's my favorite, favorite, favorite thing to have in the morning. Um, Another one of my favorite things is uh, solid white albacore tuna. I like to mix in Greek yogurt with it instead of mayonnaise. It's just more protein. It's better for your body. Um, mayonnaise isn't exactly the greatest thing that you could eat, but uh, this is super delicious with a little bit of Greek yogurt mixed in, just so I don't eat it like just plain. One of my favorite things to eat is, I believe it's called seitan, and it's like a wheat um, replacement for meat. And I'm not vegan, I'm not vegetarian, but I really am into that kind of stuff. And this is tempeh. So I like tempeh and seitan, but I ran out of my seitan. And I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that I'm pronouncing it correctly. But this is the three grain kind and it's organic. Um, it's just a soy based product, I, I believe. Um, yeah, soybean based and it's a really great source of protein. Um, you just kind of use it as like a meat replacement. It's delicious. Um, another few things uh, that I really like to drink is the almond milk. I don't drink milk at all. I don't drink any milk whatsoever. Um, organic milk. I do not drink any, any type of, uh, like milk except for almond milk and coconut milk. I don't just drink like regular cow's milk ever. Um, not even in my cereal. I have almond breeze, almond milk, just the plain vanilla kind in my cereal, unsweetened. I always get the unsweetened kind, otherwise it's just too sweet for me. But this is the chocolate kind, and I really like this. If you are addicted to chocolate milk, this is delicious. Um, another thing that is delicious, which is my favorite thing ever, my favorite thing to drink of all time, is this fantastic thing called Zika water. And I told you earlier on in this video that I'm obsessed with coconut. I love coconuts. They are, I just have a weird obsession with coconut. Coconut water, I drink every single day. And I, I love Zico. Zico is my favorite brand of coconut water. I actually put a picture of my chocolate Zico water that I was drinking on Instagram. I have these to give away to you guys. Um, and so two winners are going to receive two of these. I have them over there, but you're going to receive two of these. And to enter, all you have to do is leave a comment below saying that you got this far in the video. I'm actually not going to put giveaway in the title of this video. So it's kind of like a secret little giveaway. Um, but if you want to enter, just tell me if you got this far along in the video. That's what you can do to enter and just make sure that you have your parents' permission. Make sure that all that good stuff and I will pick a winner um, within the next couple days. I don't have like an ending date. 
Uh, so sorry about that. This is just kind of like a small little tiny giveaway. And I will pick two winners. I will message you on YouTube and then you can email me your address, your name and everything like that. So, okay. And then I do not really eat bread. Um, I really try and just focus on eating a lot of protein. Um, but when I do want some bread, I love Ezekiel. I just hit my face with the bread. Okay, this is the low sodium kind. It tastes like exactly the same as the regular kind, but a lot of sodium isn't really good for you, even though you need some sodium in your diet. But I love Ezekiel bread. This is pretty much the only bread that I'll eat. There's four grams of protein in one of these slices of bread. I guarantee if you go right now and look at your bread, if it's not Ezekiel, um, that it probably won't have more than one gram of protein in it. Plus it's made from like whole grains, which is important as well. Um, and then another thing I really like to make, sorry, this is a really long video because I have a lot to talk about, so if you're getting super bored, I'm so sorry. And I understand that this is probably the longest video that I will ever film. I will do a video on my vlog channel if you want me to on the chocolate um, protein pudding that I make before I go to bed every single night. And basically, casein protein is a slow release protein and when you go to sleep, your body um, basically breaks down your muscles while you're sleeping and so when you have this before you go to bed your your body is and your muscles are constantly being fed protein so your muscles don't break down and when you have more muscle then your metabolism is faster and then the last things I already I know that I already talked about the Lara bars but two of my other favorite bars this is a kind bar and this is the dark chocolate Cherry Cashew, this is my favorite kind bar. I think it's delicious. And then my favorite Luna bar is the chocolate dipped coconut. Again, I love coconut. But my all time favorite bar ever, I don't have it right now because I ate it um, and I ate all of them, is the Luna chocolate, um, it's the chocolate nut brownie one. Oh my gosh, if you pop that in the microwave for like 10 seconds, it is literally to die for. Keep in mind that I really, really like to eat foods that are just completely raw. I love blueberries and almonds and kale and spinach. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it helped you and I do apologize for the length of this video and I uh, hope that you can forgive me. So, bye everyone. <laughs>